Hey YouTube, it's the Unlikely Prepper here, and I just wanted to share last night, uh, after I finished a bunch of videos and as I was getting ready to go to bed, my mother came home and she had a couple of books that I had put on hold at a bookstore that um, she works at, and uh, some of them are used, but it is the first part of my Prepper library. So, I got this one here, and he had it on special for only five bucks, and it is The Battle Against Infection. And I figured, if nothing else, it's good reading. It might not have anything that pertains to um, pre-medicine or herbal medicine, but knowing how to battle infections and how to avoid and or any of the common medical treatments of it, which, if in combination with herbal books, I might be able to do a comparison, do some sort of a conversion of sorts to something that I could use without um, modern medicine. So I have this. I got the Today's Herbal Health and Essential Reference Guide by Lewis Tenney, MH. So this one here, just a lot of um, herbal information, how, how they affect each area of the body, what works for wor uh, what area. This one's a, the sixth edition. This one was a used copy, and it was originally, I think it was like uh, $20, and I managed to get it for significantly less. Great little find. I will do a review once I've gone over the book a little bit more. And this one I got brand new. I'm quite excited about this one. I got John Wiseman's SAS Guide. Now, I got really lucky. Um, the gentleman that owns the bookstore managed to give those three books to me for 20 bucks. And I cannot thank him enough for his generosity in helping me start my uh, collection of books necessary. So, I'm very excited. I'll go over this as well. I know quite a few of you said in my uh, Prepper's Library, um, Prepper's Reading List video that I did, and I put a, a whole list of different books that I wanted to read. This was one of the top ones. Everybody kept saying, you've got to get the SAS it's just a general great guide. So I'm really excited to have this. I'm really excited to start going over it. But today I was at one of my farmer's markets, and it happens to be located next to a library. So while I had a little lull, I had Mom watch the, the table, and I decided to go wander over and see what I could find. Yeah, I'm only borrowing the books, but I could look over a few different books, see what I like, read and get as much information as I can out of them for free, and if I really like the book and I feel that it has enough knowledge that it's things that I need to keep on hand permanently, I can go ahead and write that book down and see if I can find a used copy on Amazon. So I'll show you some of the books that I've got that I found just while skimming. I wasn't even going through any of the catalogs trying to find anything specific. This was just me skimming shelves. I had ten minutes to look. I grabbed quite a few books and uh, we'll go over it and tell me if you've ever seen any of these books and if you like it. I'll do more in-depth reviews of each of them once I've gone over them. So the first one I did was, I've kind of been doing a lot of information, um, bows verse guns. Because I kind of feel like once ammo's gone, what else do you have? Arrows are reusable. They're makeable. You know, it's something that's, that's something you can do. So I got Archery Fundamentals, and it is by Douglas Ein, E-N-G-H. So that is that, and I can't wait to go over that. It's got a lot of information about just the basics of how to hold it, how to construct the arrow, because I didn't realize most arrows actually have to be constructed by you. You kind of customize them. But knowing those basics so that in a situation you can fix it, when there's nobody to, there's no store to go to to have things fixed, I think is a really key part of that. So, that's number one. And then, these two I have here, I got, and oddly enough, a lot of the books that I, I picked, I tried to go for the older looking ones because um, they probably predate a lot of modern um, techniques. So, this one here is called Home Butchering and Meat Preservation by Jita Derrick. Illustrations by Sam Derrick, which is probably her husband and or children. 
And this one here just kind of goes over the basics of butchering, um, how to go about, you know, why, why raise it. You'll have to pardon my cat jumping around here. Um, it goes over how to slaughter, killing, cleaning, um, different animals as far as they have chapters on rabbit, goats, sheep, venison. And uh, they also do a chapter on freezing, a chapter on canning, and a chapter on curing, which is kind of, as much as I know I need to know slaughtering and I need to learn um, cleaning and, and how to go about those things, making sure that you know how to preserve it so that it lasts you longer than a day and a half is just as important. So I'm excited to go ahead and read that over. And I also found, this one here is by Jack Slight and Raymond Hull, The Home Book of Smoke Cooking Meat and Game. I got this one here because I was really interested in the idea that they also, despite teaching you all that other information, they show you bits and pieces of how to put together smokers. And I feel that's really important because I can go ahead and pick out the best design that works for my location, my situation, and something that doesn't involve electricity. So I'm really excited to go over this one and look over some of the different ways that you can create a smoker for different types of game and, and meat. And just they have recipes for brines and seasonings and they've got recipes in here and how to choose the quality of meat that you want. So I feel like this is another one of those books where I'm going to get done skimming it over and be like, yeah, this is one I want. But I want to make sure that I kind of like the information that's in here. So, Jack Slight and Raymond Hull. What else do I have? I got The Complete Guide to Growing Herbs and Medicinal Herbs of, sorry, the Complete Guide to Growing Healing and Medicinal Herbs by Wendy Vincent. And this one here I thought was kind of interesting because it even had entire chapters just on specifics. You know, they have an entire couple of pages on onion, oregano, parsley, you know, pumpkin, and how, how to use those, when to harvest them, the, the medicinal benefits, and, and, you know, when to plant it, when to take care of, how to take care of these things. They have um, recipes of uh, putting together specific types of teas or salves, um, seasons, what to do during certain seasons, how to avoid diseases. They have a little section with color photos of, of, different, of different herbs and plants so that you know what to look for. And let's see... Uh, knowing what is safe for children and pets, because as you know, dosages are much different. Some things are absolutely completely lethal to animals. Um, and they've got herbs to promote your health, and, and, you know, I think as much as we need to do a lot of making sure that we can, can take care of infection and antibiotics and things like that, I think one of the most important things is making sure that we're healthy enough and we're protecting our bodies so that we're less likely to get sick and, and be susceptible to disease. So they've got all kinds of medicinal information about, you know, zones. As you can see, I've got my other cat here. She wants some camera time. Don't mind her. And, uh, you know, what, what kind of soil to go by. So if you have a question on a specific type of herb or plant and you want to know a little bit about it, let me know and I will go ahead, I will take from this and I'll let you know what kind of soil types or what, what kind of light. I'll try to help you out as much as I can from these books. So that one there is by Wendy Vincent, The Complete Guide to Growing and he uh, Growing Healing and Medicinal Herbs. What else we got? 